Are you entitled for your parents' money, property or assets? This is a question I got on my Instagram account and I thought it's a very interesting question which needs to be addressed. That's why I'm sharing this video and that old way that I need to have a proper division of the money that my parents have earned or my father's business is a complete old way and which is not something which I would advise today for parents also for kids to kind of look at this mindset coming from the kids perspective yeah you know i need money my parents are obliged to give me money no you are not entitled for any money from your parents they gave you birth they gave you education they gave you clothes they gave you shelter they gave you love and care and affection and that's more than enough for you as an adult if you are well educated and if you are healthy you need to go make your own money now if you do need your parents money or you're staying in their house then you are obliged to listen to them you are obliged to kind of do what they tell you because it's their money it's their house now most of you kids will be like oh my god so what i am deserted and they're not my parents and i should not accept i should not expect anything from them yes you should but not being entitled not saying that or taking them to court or you know suing them because they didn't give you money or putting up a court case and you know kind of wanting and demanding that money i would i personally feel that if you are being given this opportunity or gift of life that is all that your you are you should be thankful for your parents to give you birth apart from that if you have had a good life if you have had a good education if you have got comfort you've traveled and your parents have given you love that's all bonus and if you have not got these things and you are like you know there was abuse and my father and my mother and you don't know what i have gone through that's fine that's called life right so what right you are alive you are watching this and you have been given whatever you have been given and you have to take that resource and do what you need to do now if you are not happy at your parents place and if you know they are making your life miserable step out go do your own thing make your own income live your own life and whatever they are willing to support you is bonus thank them for that take a loan from your dad convince your dad to give you a loan for your business or your new thing or whatever idea you have in your brain make him your partner go convince him like an investor and be respectful and be empathetic and then if he gives you money or if he is willing to loan it to you good for you but not as this is my money and i you know i have the right over it now even if you get the money let's say you you know there are some people some parents who are naive parents are like no he's my kid she's my daughter it's okay i don't want her him to go through all the pain and struggle uh, a piece of advice that i would like to give parents is that you're not doing any good to your kids by pampering them and showering them with all the luxury and money or unlimited resources that you're giving them thinking that it'll, it is going to help them the only way there is it, it is going to help them is when they themselves pick up their own passion they hustle they struggle they do the grind and then they move forward is the way to grow in the new the new alive and fearless way so again to sum this up kids are not entitled for any money from their parents if they do get it's all bonus the only biggest thing that you have to be thankful is they gave you birth and they gave you this gift of life if you've gone through a rough patch that's okay it's part of the learning process so be appreciative to that for parents do not uh, you know give entitlement to your kids again you have the right to question them and i know it's very difficult some parents are like you know what if i question my son my daughter he's going to leave the house he's going to go do some bad thing and he's going to get into the bad uh, you know whatever uh, circle so i know a lot of parents who are just it's okay give it to him give it to him give it to him but keep this in your mind i understand if it's going to go extremely bad fine help him out but you have to refrain you have to restrict your your assets your money uh, you know giving it to your kids in a free flow way so you're just going to be doing them a favor obviously after you you know what do i do should i give it to charity should i not give it to them no give it to them but as a backup after you're not there they can use it but your main agenda is to prepare them to use the funds to use the assets to use the money in a appropriate way so that they can contribute 
into their life it can help their family themselves and also they can create some product service or business so that they can contribute back to the society and give back so thank you so much for watching if you have any questions post it below this video i'll be more than happy to answer any questions that parents or kids have if you like this video you know give me a like and share this video with parents as well as kids who are going through this struggle and you know grappling with this old mindset that kids thinking that you know i need this this is my right and parents thinking that it's okay they're my kids i should give it away thank you so much all of you for watching i'll see you soon in the next alive and fearless way